What's up, fellas? Welcome back to another video. So today, I want to teach you guys a technique that's actually really simple, but I don't think it's used, I, I guess, enough over and over or practiced enough to master to always make that animation come out over and over again. It's got to do with an agile dribble, but I want to talk about one that's really good and safe in the box pretty much all the time. So here, guys. And apologies for no, for no camera today, guys. I have the Rona. I swear, I get this. I don't know how many times I've had it already, but I think I got, like, the latest update. I got, like, automatic uh, <laughs> update to the latest patch of Rona or something. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's get to the video. So it's not hard to do. So I feel like this is good for people that don't know how to skill at all. This could be your outlet if you don't want to. If you don't bother learning how to skill, you just, like, pressing A, just passing I feel like if you want to have a still a tight control of the ball, this is something really good. So let's get to the video anyway. So, okay, guys, it's a very simple move, but it's actually really OP. It can make people that are clumsy even look not clumsy. So you got to do an agile dribble, right? The thing is, I want you to master it every angle possible. Instead of doing this, like we used to all do, just, you know, just that stuff and cutting them, you know. Instead of doing all that, I have a way to that I do it that I think it's a lot more organized. But also, you can choose the animation you want more often than, than not. So yeah, guys. First of all, this is all it is. Oh, not that. That right there. All right, guys. That looks so simple, right? <laughs> but trust me, in the box, it, it's actually really unique. It looks, it looks a lot better when people are around you. But anyway, there's also something that I do, guys. When I'm running to the left and I want to specifically specifically do that one, I don't like sometimes the animation it gives me without pressing LB. Sometimes I prefer to press LB, I tap LB, and then I do that move because LB puts your player to face the goal every time. I can be looking over here, tap LB, and then I can finally pull that out. Instead of having to do this, then try the move and he's going to do that. You don't want that. You don't want to be going backwards and then pressing LB and it does that animation. So what you do... If you're in this scenario, just tap LB, boom. See what I mean? So, when you tap LB, you face the goal, you press RB, back on the left stick, and then forward quick. That's it. Now, you can also back, go back on the agile dribble, exit left or exit right, which is important as well, just in case you're tight in the box and you need to do that. Boom. Those little moves, guys, I'm telling you, they look so, honestly, they look dumb when nobody's, when you're not in game when no when nobody's pressuring you but i'm gonna show you guys some uh, some highlights as well with it let me get this let me see if i can do it on the bottom real quick bots are usually cracked but i don't know if these bots are that cracked so anyway let's say you're right here on the ball you're in this tight scenario you tap lb yeah, i didn't even do it right my boy exposed me all right hello here we go here we go you tap lb boom boom that's it that's it guys so you can do it like that. As simple as that looks, it, trust me, even the, the human, you know, the human players we play against on the computers, they do the exact same thing. They get a bit lost and they're like, whoa, 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 what's going on? You know what I mean? Where did he go? So yeah, guys, let me just go to the examples. All right, fellas, so let's talk about the first clip. Right there, Agile dribbled my way out, but that was just regular Agile dribbling, no LB or anything. I just Agile backwards. Keep it to Mane, and then we had to steal the ball back. But I'll show you what I mean when you hit the LB. But right here, I'm already spraying the mincing. I already did it once there. The other one wasn't an LB right there, boom. And yeah, it looks really simple, right? But in game, it looks quicker and looks more tricky. So I would say around, I think the first touch I did with Ronaldo was the LB. Yeah, I tapped LB. You see how he's looking at the goal right away? I tapped LB. And then Agile dribbled. And then right there, I tapped LB in that moment again, I think. Let me just go back and see. Right there, boom. Because I feel like it's a quick... When, you, when you're standing still, I think the Agile dribble... I don't know what it is about LB sometimes when you just control the ball closer. It just tends to just bust out a lot faster. That's what she said. But anyway, guys. Boom. Shot the ball. Boom. Come in, right? And that's really it, guys. That's really all it is. Just... At LB, boom, turn, go through, think. And there was no skill move involved, just playing agile dribble. Nice, go to the next clip. 
All right, guys, this clip, I think, has a lot of it with Mane. Well, Mane, not really, but Mane has a really cool animation spin that I like. So I give the ball to Mane. And oh, that was so beautiful, right? That was Agile Dribble, by the way. All I did was I didn't tap LB at all, I think. I just turned just straight up. Turn Mane, LB, boom. Right there, that was Agile Dribble backwards. So once I was here, and I didn't even tap LB on that one. I just simply got, since when you get used to the, like, the angle, you won't need to tap B, but most of the time I prefer to tap B because you're not certain of getting that animation over and over again. You can memorize what angle it is on the left stick to just bounce the player to push the ball back backwards. But it's not always guaranteed that you can get the animation. But if you can, if you go forward fast, for example, if you go forward fast after you agile dribble backwards, you will force the, the animation to go able to push that one entirely. What LB does is puts you pretty much still so you don't have to even go forward sometimes you can just go left or right i just think i don't know i just think it's more stable so here ronaldo same thing again and i don't know if i tapped lb on that one yeah that for sure did the tap lb so let me see boom tapped lb right there and then back and then i went forward simple and they just always end up committing and over committing and that's it and you take a spot it's so safe guys it's like it's a really low risk move because even after you can pass if they end up getting somehow still getting in front of you which is doesn't happen too often and this is the elite division by the way most guys are really good but yeah we'll, we'll say a 90,000 skill rating and 20,000 skill rating above they're really good so yeah guys even i i have struggle struggle against a lot of those guys but hey yeah, guys and the ball's gone all right, we're gonna start the play here, and uh, this is a foot champs game. Play this one today, so Shabby, and it's, I do this one with Shabby, and I'm, I totally fluff it. I mess the whole thing up. But you see that right there? That is the that's like one of the smartest ways to pretty much try to get so, through somebody and not really get that much danger out of it because if they foul you, you can always turn, you can always get fouled, you can always turn, you always have full control of the ball. Well, sometimes when you bust a skill move, you know, this they, that's either you get him or it's, it's over. So I think it's pretty unique, guys. Now with Shabby. Ball with Shabby. I tap LB, go back, go forward after. And she pretty much took his whole, whole, whole space. And then I completely, you know, shit the bed. Whatever. All right, on this clip, got him on the on the counter. Happy she's a little through ball. Neymar Cito, Neymar Cito. Do a little move. LB right there. Boom, turn. Fast. Fast. I think I fluffed it. Yeah, I didn't even do anything. Right. I totally missed the whole chance. Damn, what a noob. But anyway, guys, the whole point is that that move in general is what created that whole space. I think I could have just shot. Then a shot cancel and just made it my life a lot easier than, you know, trying to pass my way into the goal. But anyway, guys. Right, I would say here, that's where I tapped LB. Right there. So let's see again. Tapped LB, boom, boom. That is the secret, I feel, because it brings the ball close quickly. And then the, the exit with the agile is even faster after. So, boom. It's almost like you're so close to them, but you can't get near the ball. Like, how is he? You know, when you're playing, you're like, how's the guy keeping the ball so tight? They're most likely really good with agile dribble, even if they don't use LB to stop on, on the spot. They got their, their own little ways, but I think LB helps a ton in very tight scenario. So, yeah, guys. Here's another quick one to stand the video with. Just got a pen out of that, and so honestly, if it looks like I'm not doing anything, really. But it just help, it's helps them like be more confused on where I'm going. There's no if I'm stopping, fully turning, and then boom. You get what I mean? Like... It's the weirdest move, but it's pretty unique, guys. So, yeah. All right, fellas, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a short one today because my phone's too good. But hopefully you actually go and try this, guys, because it looks simple. But if you're not somebody that uses scaling and you don't even know much about scaling and it's just too much work to go into tutorials and learn everything and timing and all that. I mean, I suggest you learn how to scale. But still, this is actually pretty unique and pretty legit way of controlling the ball super tight. And not having to really use skill moves, honestly, you can be in the box in the tight scenarios and do the craziest cutbacks. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed and catch y'all later. Peace.